Alpha. I live three different lives connected by my cameras. I'm a full-time content creator, I shoot commercials just like this one, and I teach at a film school. Sometimes students ask me questions like how can I ever afford a cinema camera? And to that I usually answer, well, you start off with something like an alpha camera, then slowly work your way up. But I should probably let them know that now, they can just start with one of these. Let's say there's a cinema camera that can shoot in 4K, 120p slow-mo, has the Cine EI mode, has time code, would you consider getting one? No, that's too expensive. I would love to, but I can't afford it. Well, I wasn't talking about this camera. I was talking about this one. Oh, nice. This does everything I just said with a Super 35 sensor. So it's not full frame like this one, but because of that, it's actually quite a bit more affordable. Can we try shooting with it? You want to try shooting with it? So this FX30 can shoot in Cine EI. It's a mode commonly found on high-end cinematic productions, so you'll find it on the FX6, FX9, and even the Venice. See how that lamp in the background is slightly blown out there? If we expose this at a slightly higher EI, it should give us more room in the highlights. So it's about 14 stops of dynamic range you're getting in S-Log3. It's 10-bit 422 in 4K, which means... It's great for color grading? Exactly! If you get used to shooting with this, it's an instant head start for shooting with the high-end full-frame models because you're already familiar. And all the way to the very top, it's still an E-mount, so you get to bring all your lenses with you as you upgrade. The FX30 also comes in two options. You can get it with the XLR handlebar for a better audio solution, or you can get it without as a more affordable option. Do you know how much I wish there was an option like this when I first started out? If I say yes, can I get this one for free? No. Get your own cinema camera. Sony.